Welcome everybody to Toy DIY. On today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. Yeah. What's up everybody, turn up your TV. Today we're gonna make a puppet like me. Gonna be easy, gonna be quick, gonna be cute, gonna be sick. Let's get started, put 10 on the clock. Dig through your dresser, find us a sock. Fleece is the best, why does your hand? If there are holes, they'll be hit in the end. Step number one, corrugated cardboard. Draw two lines, then they are scored. Fold in half, use a pencil to mark the width of your hand and draw it an arc. Cut out half and trace underneath. Shrink it a bit, leave room for the teeth. Once it's cut, you've made the mouth plate. Move your hand, make sure it works great. Time for a break, have a snack if need be. Head to the bathroom and do a pee pee. Take the tube from the empty TP. This can make the head 3D. Grab some scissors, then trim down its length to be from lips to crown. And then make gaps where your fingers fit. Glue that thing to the mouth plate bit. Find yourself two plastic spoons. Cut the tips to make two moons. Glue each one to make an ear. Save the rest and keep them near. Slide the skull inside like so. Mouth at the heel and head at the toe. Once you've got the sock in place, glue right here at the mouth plate base. Time to make the mouth inside. Find some paper, you decide. Come on little buddy, open wide. Fold in half and trace outside. Cut the paper inside the line. Glue to the edge and you'll be fine. Press in place and get a marker. Draw the back where the throat gets darker. Take those spoons you had before. Cut some teeth out two or four. Stick in front with some hot glue. Look at that, now he can chew. Now the best part, we'll put on the eyes. Rest of the spoons, cut them to size. Place on the face and glue where it lies. Getting them straight might take a few tries, so I would advise you just wait, just wait. and use non-permanent supplies that you can update, update, and then redraw in a permanent state when it looks great. Looks great, looks great, yeah. Listen up, we're back in the flow. These are the steps to making the fro. You need some yarn to start with. Oh, nothing fancy, just cheap stuff though. Coil up a bunch, whatever feels right. Yeah. Use another piece and tie real tight. One dab of glue can keep it tied. Then cut the strands on the opposite side. Leave it like this and you've got a dread. But maybe you want it poofy instead. So comb from the ends and work your way through. Lots will come out, but it's supposed to. Dab glue in the middle and bunch up the mop. Now take the whole thing and glue it on top. Stick it up straight or give it a flop. Gel it down slick or give it a chop. That's about it for the build of the head. You can stop right here and use it instead. Or we can add in one more mod to give them hands and a little bod. Get one more sock of a different type. Maybe smooth with plaid or a stripe. Cut out the toe and grab a shoelace. Set on the back and glue into place. Now find yourself a cereal box and the leftover of the socks. Glue them together, cut out some bits, then glue in the laces, attaching those bits. Control rods from some chopsticks, and some sock bits while the clock ticks. We done. Made a puppet with no toxics. We're rocking the hotfix. These good economics brought to you by Woodfish Top Tricks. Now that you've seen this, you won't even need me. Nope. You clean these steps. You're gonna be speedy. You'll do more work that will exceed me. You're gonna be a puppet making PhD. See? Well, that was pretty ridiculous. I mean, I hope you enjoyed it though. If you want to watch these steps again, but without the bad wrapping, then there's a link shown here for the normal video. Hopefully this sparks some interest for you in puppets and puppet making. If you want to move on to more advanced techniques and professional puppet making, check out my favorite YouTube channels in the description below. I'm David and I'll see you on the next episode.